Hey, how's it going guys? March Games here and welcome back to another quest video. This one has been requested for a while, but the patch finally came out Saturday. I know this video is released Monday. That's just how my schedule has worked out. Hopefully you find this video useful and interesting and helpful. And if you do, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and enjoy the video. So the beginning of this clip accidentally cut out. So what you need to do is go accept the quest from Corporal Matthew and the engineering room of heavy weapons after you give him enough supplies to work your way up to the quest of heavy weapons. And these at Port de Calais. So, or Cal I'm sorry, I probably said that wrong as well. <laughs> I don't need my gun. Um, just go to the port in this area of the map, the top left hand corner. You're gonna go over to this barge structure over here. And there's gonna be some containers, and these are open from before. Now, there's two green containers this one on the right, these are the precision cutters right there. Next, we're gonna head over to Bordo right here. So, we're gonna go to the bottom left hand side of Bordo. We're gonna go to the mechanic shop. And so, this is where we found a different quest item. But if you go inside, there's this little gray thing. This is the four jaw chuck. Now, we're at Bear. It's a different town. We have a different garage mechanic. You're gonna go to the garage right here. And this, oh, not that thing. <laughs> this little thing right here, this is like the wrench of the clippers. Lastly, we have the Death Gauge. It's going to be on the east side of Paris, or the right side of Paris right here. And so there's going to be a little military checkpoint, but there's also going to be a garage right here. So you can use the military checkpoint as a reference. But in this garage, we're just going to go into the back here. And on this table is the Death Gauge. Now to find the 11 blueprints, we're going to start off at Verdun Air Base. We're going to go into these barracks here. And, um, what just happened? That was the stupidest lag ever. So you can search all around here, and the... Blueprints are going to be around here. The first one is actually in this cupboard right here. It's the fuse slot one. Now, if we go to this side right here, you're going to see another blueprint on this table, the Avenger blueprint. Next, we're going to go to Cotentin Arsenal, and we're going to go to the Brown Building. So I can't. I don't know why it's lagging. I, I apologize. We're going to go to the Brown Building over here. We're going to go up the stairs, and there's going to be one blueprint heal, Eagle Fire, and one on the other shelf, the Maple Strike. Next, we're at Bernard's Pond. There's going to be on the t upper right-hand corner. There's going to be a little brown building here next to some, like, lumber kind of stuff. Yeah, we got some uh, tree saws or whatever you're going to call them here. Log, loggy. I don't know. <laughs> Go into this cabinet, and then this is the sports shop blueprint. Next, we're going to head over to Lorda's Farm, and we're going to go into this building. Uh, I believe it's this building, actually, right over here. Not this one. Sure. This is the actual house, so you can look in here. This is the house, but... And this is the actual farm building right here and we're going to find a blueprint right down in here this is the hawk Hound blueprint next if we head over to marcelli the dead zone we're going to go to the airstrip and so there's going to be a little military checkpoint over here you can jump over the wall or just go through the gate right here and there's going to be a little central area with a few gun racks and in this one if you open it up oh my gosh got some pretty nice loot here <laughs> if you open it up it's gonna be hiding behind an item maybe we have the Herzl blueprint next we are in satori defense HQ headquarters. This is the prison right here. Now this one has two of them. So watch closely where there's one on the bottom floor and the second floor. So the one on the bottom floor, you're going to walk in the front door and you're going to go into this little back room here. And in this one, you can look in these and it's going to be the bottom one right here, the Ganog, Ganog wire. And that's the blueprint for that one. Now we're going to go up the stairs right here into this door. We're going to go past this. There's going to be a little blocked off barricade right there. It's actually a table. If you go around this side, you're going to see that's another blueprint. This is the Corsican blueprint. Next, we're in the west side of Paris. The left side of Paris is going to be a police station right here. As you can see, it says police. You're going to go inside and you're going to go up the stairs. You're going to find the stairs. It's going to be in the back here after these desks. You're going to take a left. No, you're going to take a right. <laughs> and there's going to be a couple of just stuff right here. These canvas again. You're going to find a Cobra blueprint. So the very last blueprint is going to be located in Toulouse or Toulouse. It's going to be... It's very weird to describe. It's going to be on this face of this rock, and it's this house right here, this gray one with these bluish windows. So you're going to go in the front door of this house. You're going to take a left in this door, open this cabinet, and it's going to be right there, the 91911 blueprint, or the cult, I guess. And there you have it. That is the entire quest. So after we complete that, we can finally go back to the engineer. And this guy, he's going to allow us to craft all of the guns we found. So I've got the blueprints and the tools. Now you can say right here, can you make a weapon for me? He can make you all of these weapons that you just found. So if we want maple strike, we get a maple strike. We want another maple strike, we get another maple strike. 
And there we go, we got two maple strikes. Apparently, if it doesn't have enough materials, just gotta keep restocking him. This quest goes forever, so he needs enough materials to make you guns. So I made him two. He made me two maple strikes with the supplies that I gave him before. Anyways, thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.